everyone. Today here it's Christian and Simon. <laughs> We're here today. Um, it's pretty cold. It's middle of November. We are in Lloydkirch in the Allgäu in Germany and um, standing in front of Benny's aircraft, which is our production number four. You've seen it before in um, Simon's videos. And today we're going to look at some more of the technical features of this aircraft, which is the latest evolution of, of the Scalewings Mustang family. Yeah, and particularly we will introduce you the latest cockpit design, which we have installed in this aircraft. Also the interior features, and this is all about this episode. So come with me and have a look. So let's start with the interior and one of the most important things with the interior is the baggage compartment. To show you the baggage compartment, I have here a huge backpack, which I think is a very appropriate size for the average, let's say, flight you may do. So how to store this baggage? The seat can be folded to the front, just like that. So you can take your baggage, put it in there and close it again. This is how it works. There are lugs in there, so you can take belts or straps and you, or cargo net and you can also fix the, the, the baggage that it's not loose, that it's really um, fixed in there. Now the baggage is well secured and stored in the baggage compartment, so the next step is to enter the plane. Now I'm simulating the passenger or the co-pilot, co-pilot because you have full controls also in the back. So to have a proper Uh, access to the aircraft. Ideally, you um, you extend the flaps, so stage two or even three. You can either step on the wing from the back with flaps down, or you can also step on the plane by using the front wheel as a kind of step or stair. I will show you now um, stepping on the wing from behind. So, like this, then you stand in here. And now the easiest way to access is just to step on the seat like this. And now you can just slide in. So here we go. Now, all right. Now I'm sitting in the plane on the rear seat. So for the passenger or the co-pilot. And one word to the cabin width. So I am more than six feet tall. And despite I did not serve in the Marine Corps, I have relatively wide shoulders as I was a sport swimmer in my youth. And you can see there's some remaining space here in between the shoulder and uh, in the cabin frame. So it's really comfortable. I can fully lean back. I don't have to move my shoulders to the side. I can really sit as I want. And I can even find here my head on the headrest. So it's very, very comfortable. Also with closed canopy, I have enough space, I will show you. So I close the canopy now. All right, this is canopy closed and you see there's a lot of space here. Half of my head is fitting in there. So still enough room for a headset or a helmet. And I have great visibility. Now you have also seen how the canopy works. So the canopy is a sliding one, but also a turning one that assure proper access for both pilots or the passenger and the pilot. So this is how, let's say, a six feet person fit into this cockpit. In the rear seat. <laughs> In the rear seat, yeah. So, okay, let me show you some of the um, flight controls which we have installed also for the rear pilot. So you can see, first of all, the stick for aileron and, and pitch. You also have the trim. You have um, a radio uh, button. So you can also, uh, let's say, provide functions on the further buttons. You have uh, throttle. So here is the power throttle. You have propeller. And, and also, let's say, depending on that, what you like, I mean, there are several options. Here we have installed the Dynan 7-inch display, which can show you the engine parameters, also primary flight um, indication, like speed, altitude, and everything. Additionally, you see there is a lot of remaining space. So we can also install a second radio device or an airspeed indicator or an altimeter or G-meter. So there is still some, some space. 
Here you can see the headset um, connection and also I'll pull it down. So the USB port to charge your smartphone. And also the emergency system can be released from the passenger. So here is the emergency um, release or let's say the, the handle for the rescue ballistic uh, parachute system. And this one has to be pushed and then the parachute comes out. Also, a very nice feature is this air gasket here. It provides you with REM air and um, so to give you a fresh breeze. And the good thing is this one is already working once the propeller is rotating on the ground. So it's a very efficient um, REM air device. There is outside here at the outer side of the fuselage, there is a scoop. And this one is really working well. So you have proper air conditioning, let's say by this REM air. And also a document pouch you can find here. So for maybe a chart, a map or something like this, or your passport, whatever, uh, you can find some space here in this, in this pouch. Also the pilot has a pouch and even behind my seat is another pouch. And my feet, by the way, are here on the rudder pedals. So here I have also the controllability for the rudder. You can see I have, I'm wearing now winter boots because it's November, it's cold, but still, or even with my winter boots, I have proper access here. So now I have shown you the rear seat. Now I change position to the front seat. Actually to access the front seat, it's more or less the same way. You can find your hold here at the windscreen and then you can just step in. You can sit down here on the seat and then you just slide in again. Here we go. Okay, now I'm uh, sitting here in the cockpit and what you can see is the new arrangement, which is a mixture of classical analogs and a modern glass cockpit. I've already switched it on for you so that you can see how it looks like. And um, what is also an interesting feature, as I told you already in the last video, here you can see the landing gear um, indication. So here's the landing gear switch but here is the landing gear indication right now the landing gear is fully extended and locked so even the rear wheel is indicated so now um, how to check if it works so here we have a check button now you can see that the system is properly working yeah. when the when the landing gear is coming up you get this transition and red light indication and once it's locked and up it disappears so then here is no light anymore. What's also a great feature in this aircraft is another USB um, port. So you can charge your device, your iPad, your smartphone. You can upload data. You can download data. Uh, here you have the flap controller. Here we have an intercom controller. Here we have a radio and a transponder. And this aircraft is equipped with a second radio, which is down there beside the air gasket. The pilot has two air gaskets, one air, air gasket here, but another air gasket is here on the right hand side. So the pilot is well supplied with fresh air. Again, this air gasket is already working on the ground once the propeller is rotating as outside here is a scoop. And this, this scoop is, is really well collecting air. So you have an amazing REM air supply. Here the pilot can connect his headset which is here, this panel. And here you can see the circuit breaker panel. So the circuit breaker panel, as you can see, is well accessible and well visible. And it, it also looks very nice. Beside, you can see numerous other devices, for example, the rudder and the pitch trim. In this aircraft, we also installed a flam. This flam is indicating other aircrafts with its position and um, also a CO gas meter is here. Here is the engine panel. So with this panel, you control the engine, the handles for the emergency uh, landing gear retract uh, extension. So when you pull this lever, the left landing gear would come out. This one is for the rear landing gear and this one is for the right hand side. By the way, also the pilot, of course, has the chance to shoot out the, the rocket with the ballistic parachute and the, the, the handle for the parachute you can find here. It's not like something which can happen randomly. You really, ideally, you take both of your hands and you really, you really pull it out. Down there, you can see the fuel selector, which is down there. 
and also the park brake and the the heating. So this aircraft can also be equipped with a heating system. The heater is a heat exchanger which is connected to the water cooler. So there is no risk of getting a carbon monoxide um, a poison as um, it's not, it's let's say not the classical system which use the hot exhaust gas, but it is using the hot water as we have a water-cooled engine. Very, let's say, improved feature which we have um, learned and also which was a great input from our customer is that the tail wheel locking mechanism is now here on your left hand just below the power lever. Here's the power lever, the propeller lever, and here's the tail locking uh, mechanism. And you just push it like this. Now the tail wheel is locked. And now it's unlocked. So this is how it works. It's well accessible. It's well to find. So also in a, when it have to be fast, let's say, yeah, in a, in a stressful situation, you can quickly find the mechanism. Okay. As you probably have noted, um, this aircraft is painted in a green military top coat. And, um, we can see here the yellow hookah harnesses with the brown leather upholstery. But um, this color setup is customizable. So in case you want to have a blue color or black color or even white, we can also, um, let's say, apply other colors in the interior. So you can create your own aircraft as you love it. Okay, now I show you again how the canopy closes and how much space I have with closed canopy. So let's close it. Actually, one more word to the canopy. This is now the distance which the canopy slide back. It's about 10 inches. So it's great for taxiing as you get a lot of fresh air and you can even turn out your head like this and then you have also, you see more or less everything as you would see with a uh, uh, nose uh, gear aircraft. So now let's close it. Now it's closed and you see how much space I have. So you can wear a helmet, you can wear a headset without any problem. I just open it again that you can hear me uh, better. Okay, so this is how the canopy and the, the entire cockpit arrangement and situation looks like. I hope you liked it and enjoyed the video and see you next time with the next features. Cheers.